Okay, this is lab one for HTML and CSS. I'm doing this version in Optana. I will have another one in Dreamweaver. Again, I'm gonna show both systems for when I first get started and then soon we'll just go to looking at code because it won't matter. There are some basic components that exist in every web page. The first thing every web page has to have is a doc type. And we're working with HTML5 which is just doc type. You'll notice it gives us some code hinting here. And if I hover over things, it will eventually show us what they mean. And you'll see here that it has a missing element. Well, we haven't finished setting up the page. So that's gonna sit there for a minute. There's nothing really wrong yet. We're just not done. The next thing we have to do is we have to tell the web server what type of document this is. And this is an HTML document. And we're going to define the language here equal to EN in quotes. That's English. And then we got a close our tags. Now, I like Optana. It puts in your closing tags for you. I like to make a little room. So this is saying that this is an HTML page. The next thing that we put in is our head section. And inside the head section, we can put in all sorts of meta tags, which are meta is information about the page itself. What I really want everybody to put in is a title. And our, this is our page title. And this one is going to be Mary's Web 115 site. And then there's one piece of meta information we're going to put in at this point. And it's a good idea. It's just telling us our character set. We're in America. Our character set here is going to be care set UTF-8. So we tell it it's a meta tag, meta. And then we tell it that it's going to be care set equals. And in America, our standard care set is UTF-8. You don't really need to understand what it does. That's just telling it it's our standard encoding in the United States. There are different ones elsewhere, but this is pretty standard for anything that we're going to be doing. And that's your head section. And this is all information about the site. This will appear when you are in your browser. And this is my show preview editor. Nope, I need to um, save it first in Optana. So I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna preview. And it's gonna be blank but it's telling you preview index.html. Now, if I were to really preview this in a browser, um, there is a way to do that in here. I've been using Dreamweaver a lot more. Oh, it's not set up. Okay, so I can't do that right now. But if I were to open up this in a browser, you would see it. And it's a good idea actually to work with the real file next to you. And so I'm in my PC, it's in my documents, and it's in web 115B. This is where I'm working. So I have saved this as web 115 index.html, which is this right here. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose open with Firefox. And you'll see that my title, let me go back to the code, title Mary's Web 115 site, that appears right here. And I'm going to keep this in the background where we can flip back and forth and refresh it because that's the right way to test this. So now let's put a little bit of information in here. Oops, my video just finished. Okay, so the information in here, whatever's going to appear on screen goes in the body. So you need an opening and a closing body tag, and usually your body tag will close right before the ending HTML tag. Now, I'm not going to put a whole lot in here right now, but I will, as we're moving forward, add to it. I'm just going to include a H1 tag that says Mary's Web 115 site and I'm going to save this because it's going to be a list of links and I have nothing to link to yet. I could preview this but if you preview here it shows you the old one so you once you save you just hit preview again and that shows you what's here. Now to check this in a browser 
I just refresh my browser, and that's a really good way to test. Notice something, the font's different. That's because I have set my default, default fonts in Firefox, and you'll also notice I like to work without my glasses, so my font size is a little bit larger in the browser that I use. Okay, so that's my index page. I'm going to close these. And actually, you may find it easier. This is something, this is a basic template you can pretty much reuse. And copy and paste of your own work, completely legitimate. You did it originally, it's not plagiarism. So I'm going to create a new index page here, which will be index.html. And I'm going to drop in that same information. And then I'm just going to ch call it Mary's Lab 01 Basic Text. And you can even leave off the Mary's if you want. It's just Lab 01 Basic Text. And this is going to be Lab 01 Basic Text Commands. Now, I don't want to make you watch everything I'm going to type in here, but I'm going to put in a few basic things. And all we're going to really work with is text today. And so I'm going to start with a paragraph. And normally you're working in paragraphs and you'll put text inside of them. This is a paragraph. And if I put in a BR command, I can put in B R stands for break and it starts a new line without. Now in the code, it doesn't matter. Blank spaces and returns are going to be completely ignored. So make it look good for when you're coding too. You can hit enter here. It's not going to have any impact. So um, and it starts a new line without a blank line. A paragraph tag. will leave a blank line. So here I'm going to start a new paragraph and I'm going to put it right here. I'm not going to hit enter. So you can see it's the new paragraph tag that does it. This is a new paragraph. Now I want to save this. I'm going to test it. And you can see this is my line break. This is my new paragraph, and I can't, refreshing here isn't going to work because it's not the same page, but I could go into, you'll notice I'm in 01 index, so you can just go there on your browser, hit enter, and you can see it. It actually looks a little better here to me because I don't like things in a serif font, but we're not going to get into formatting that yet. So I'm going to show you several other tags that I want you to play with. Um, we'll go ahead and do some of those right now. So we can close that preview. And I'm going to start a new paragraph. There are several tags you need to learn to use. And here I'm going to put in a break, and I'm going to put in a tag for OL, that's an ordered list, and then each list item will be a tag. And I'm going to put in here B and call it bold because that is my bold tag. And I'm going to put in strong. And I'm going to put in italic. And I'm going to put in emphasis. And I'm going to 
going to put in small. And we're going to take a quick look at this. I'm going to add some more before I put it up to show you what you're going to need to do for your homework, but let's take a quick look. Bold, strong, italics, emphasis. You'll notice that these are the same thing. Small is a little smaller. And again, not a bad idea to have Dreamweaver open and actually look at it in the browser. So these, the difference between bold and strong, italics and emphasis is that the browser gets to decide how they're presented for or strong and for emphasis, but strong and emphasis will have semantic. It'll actually have meaning other than simple formatting because if it's a text reader for the blind, it will emphasize things with strong or emphasis, but it'll ignore bold and italics because bold and italics is just formatting, visual formatting, whereas strong and emphasis actually means something. So I'm going to give you some other basic text commands that I will show you um, in the sample page, and then you'll have a homework assignment just to incorporate some of these new text formatting tags that I've shown you.